Did you know that about an 80% failure rate is attached to startup bars and eateries within their first five years of opening? But by the time a restaurant becomes a culinary industry giant, we tend to think that failure is impossible, right? Unfortunately, even the chain restaurants many of us have enjoyed dining at for years are not untouchable. COVID-19 even put the most successful industry players at risk, causing many restaurants to shut down. As the new year unfolds, here are some beloved chain restaurants we sadly may lose in 2024. 1. Crystal This fast food burger chain is a franchise you would like to see succeed. It's known for its beefy creations, melty breakfast sandwiches, loaded hot dogs, tater tots, and fries. Founded in Tennessee during the Great Depression, Crystal has been serving up deliciousness since the early 1930s. But when it comes to its performance over the last few years, many are wondering how much longer burgers will continue to sizzle on its grills. Taking a glance at the restaurant business analysis, Crystal is slipping despite putting in all its best efforts to continue along the train of growth. During the worst year, 2020, the company filed for bankruptcy following the trend of many restaurants during the COVID-19 pandemic. Fortress Investment Group took over and became the flailing chain's new owner. They planned to refranchise it by developing a new plan for its future. This led them to sell restaurants in an attempt to stimulate growth and ultimately profits. However, the process of refranchising in this way can often be a slow one, and given Crystal's drastic demise over the past 10 years, we'd be surprised if it has the time to wait on a salvation that is far from guaranteed. Regardless, let's keep our fingers crossed that 2024 doesn't become the year that Crystal is taken out for good. 2. Pi 5 Pizza Sometimes the best intentions don't yield the best results, and this is especially true in the restaurant business. When it comes to Pi 5, a quick stop chain offering personal make it your way pizzas under a business model similar to Subway or MOT Pizza, we have a perfect example of a great idea that didn't quite pan out. While Pi 5 was developed mainly for college campuses, shopping malls, and other areas where people might be looking for a saucy melted cheese and crust meal at a quick speed, the concept has not taken off like the company believed it won't. Do you know around 66% of the original Pi 5 pizza locations have shuttered their doors for good? Fortunately, Rave Restaurant Group, the owner of Pi 5, didn't put all of its eggs in one basket. The company developed a second original pizza chain known as Pizza Inn, and it has vastly outperformed its brother restaurant. While business may be stagnant for poor Pi 5, Pizza Inn has done nothing but prosper. Yet it appears that little by little, Rave Restaurant Group will phase out Pi 5 until it's nothing more than a source-filled memory. 3. Pancho's Mexican Buffet Pancho's Mexican Buffet is one of those chains that peaked in the 90s and early 2000s. However, from having 140 locations at its prime to only two in the sole state of Texas, Pancho's has sadly and slowly dwindled since its golden age. Though it's hard to pinpoint precisely what has led to its demise over the years, the trouble seems to have begun when the company came under new ownership in 2001. Two years ago, after a rumored permanent shutdown was reported by local news, saddened Texas customers flocked to the doors of the final Pancho's locations for what they believed would be their final meal behind its doors. Strangely, the closure never came to fruition. However, it doesn't appear it would take much for it to occur in 2024. 4. Applebee's This franchise is one that consumers seem to have mixed opinions on regarding its product's taste and quality. It has been around since 1980, but whether or not you love or hate the neighborhood grill and bar, you can't deny it was once a top contender in the sit-down chain restaurant scene. However, 
These days, Applebee's, the long-standing company, is struggling, and the trouble seems to have ramped up with the arrival of COVID. Despite this, Applebee's didn't give up. 2023 was supposed to be the year of an official bounce back. But despite the franchise's best efforts to make itself relevant again, the end of 2023 has brought with it not growth or even the same number of existing Applebee locations, but more closures of underperforming ones. Will 2024 continue to usher in the end of the Applebee's era? Only time will tell. 5. Buffalo Wild Wings With its sports bar environment, extensive beer offerings and chicken-centered menu, Buffalo Wild Wings has served food to its game-watching guests since 1982. However, over 40 years since it got its start, a grim shadow has been cast over the future of the chain. Trouble seems to be brewing for the restaurant franchise, which faithfully cooks up large amounts of wings in its kitchens. Or does it? They were criticized for serving up wings to its customers. The company, when taken to court over the issue, admitted to using chicken breast prepared and fried in such a way as to look like boneless chicken wings instead of actually using the winged part of the bird. Meanwhile, the franchise took an additional hit when it pulled all its remaining locations out of Canada based on underperformance and poor sales. These closures occurred one by one over a long period of time, leading us to wonder what might be in the works for the chain's stateside locations in 2024. 6. Fuddruckers Fuddruckers started in Texas in 1980 with a promise which set it apart from the rest. The buns housing its scrumptious burgers would be baked daily from scratch on site. With merely 60 locations left in the United States, Fuddruckers is hardly the grand scale chain it used to be. Meanwhile, the popularity that Fuddruckers has experienced in recent years can be attributed to its acquisition by Luby's in 2010. The franchise's new owners made some less than popular changes to the running of its new restaurant chain. Changes that drove earnings down rather than up. In 2020, Luby ended up liquidating, and Black Titan Industries took over ownership of the flailing Fuddruckers locations. While this most recent owner has been admirably trying to rekindle the struggling chain's popularity, we fear poor Fuddruckers might be too far gone to revive. Will it bake its final bun in 2024? We certainly hope not. 7. White Castle White Castle is the world's original burger chain. The company got the ball rolling for all fast food, beef and fry restaurants to come with its first location way back in 1921. But is it possible that White Castle's long reign might be coming to an end? Some recent closings and financial troubles might just usurp the very first burger joint's throne. While a few shutdowns are hardly reason to panic, an enormous lawsuit followed suit wrecking its image. Despite White Castle being sued by one of its managers, the fallout could cost the company a whopping $17 billion in total. However, the Supreme Court ruled that the franchise is required to pay for every single instance in which it occurred. After White Castle in the state of Illinois was found to have breached its state laws on using digital identification systems. Sadly, a payout of this magnitude can wreak havoc on a food franchise. We wait with bated breath to see if the king returns to its castle or ends up vanquished in 2024. 8. Boston Market Now, Boston Market's been on the decline for years and things didn't improve much in 2023. There are about 310 locations in the U.S., and while you may think that doesn't sound too detrimental at first glance, if you take a look at the bigger picture, some major concern begins to creep in for the chain attributed with starting the rotisserie chicken trend. At its peak, Boston Market sported 1,200 locations. So what has led to its severe downsize? A fair bit of scandal. In August 2023, 27 different Boston Market locations were ordered to be closed by the Labor Department of New Jersey when it came out that the franchise owed its workers a whopping $600,000 in outstanding wages. 
they were required to pay the waiting employees and also pay a fine of $2.6 million for the transgression. This added to the problems surrounding this franchise. So, what will the fate of Boston Market be in 2024? 9. Old Country Buffy There's nothing quite like filing for bankruptcy to signal the beginning of the end for a restaurant chain, and unfortunately, this rings true for Old Country Buffy. The formerly popular all-you-can-eat chain restaurant once had more than 600 locations to its name. But in 2023, this number is at a mere 13 in total, many or all of which appear to still be standing but not actually operating. What could be the blame for the unfortunate dwindling of the buffet that offered up warm comfort food for 40 years? Multiple filings of bankruptcy is what? Despite the franchise filing its first bankruptcy in 2008, the chain went on to file in 2012 and 2016 as well. Then, it filed for its fourth bankruptcy after the pandemic in 2021. Since poor old country Buffy is basically dead already, let's hope it officially gets put out of its misery in 2024 by shutting down its social media pages at the very least. 10. Furs Fresh Buffet Furs, a cafeteria-style chain opened in 1947, was hit incredibly hard during the COVID pandemic. Since no one during COVID-19 was sticking their hands in communal food troughs, the franchise closed all of its locations following the height of the virus and, to the dismay of loyal customers, never opened back up. It rang true for poor furs. All of its locations still sit unused or have been demolished by now. But a recent unexpected glimmer of hope has been ignited in consumers' hearts in Lubbock, Texas. Rumors of a potential mini furs resurrection was announced via Lone Star 99.5. However, we wonder if this brief and perhaps almost tortuous resurrection will only prolong the passing of furs era, making its leaving even harder for folks to accept. 11. Piccadilly Restaurants Piccadilly Restaurants, opened in 1932 as a single buffet-style cafeteria, began its expansion in 1944 when a new and ambitious owner swooped in. This eventually turned the once lone restaurant into a popular chain that spread across the South. Following the overwhelmingly popular all-you-can-eat culinary trend at the time, Piccadilly enjoyed success as a beloved family restaurant that faithfully led throngs of hard-working American families. However, as it stands, things are not looking good for Piccadilly restaurants. The chain continues to mysteriously close prominent locations left and right. In Jacksonville, Florida, for example, the shutdown of a location that had been planted and serving for 50 years made headlines. Since the company has remained tight-lipped as to the reasons why it appears to be downsizing, we can only speculate. 12. Steak and Shake Though it seems an impossible reality that the company that makes famed chef Joshua Weissman's favorite fast food burger may be destined for doom, the evidence appears to be speaking for itself. The Steak and Shake footprint has been slowly and quietly diminishing for a while, right under our sizzling burger-smelling noses. In 2018, the chain had 626 locations under its belt. Four years later, in 2022, that number had been reduced to just over 500. Now, at the end of 2023, there are a total of 493 Steak and Shakes. Now, while this pattern is a strange one to say the least, Restaurants being shut down one by one is never a good sign. We're keeping our fingers crossed that 2024 doesn't drag steak and shake under completely because, after all, its steak burgers are pretty amazing. 13. Cracker Barrel Sadly, the pandemic had a great impact on Cracker Barrel, leading them to make some difficult decisions. Cracker Barrel has been losing customers in 2023, and its restaurant count has shrunk since the start of the year. The southern-themed American restaurant chain permanently shuttered its two remaining restaurants in the Portland, Oregon area in March 2023. 
Cracker Barrel also closed another location away from Portland in Bend, Oregon. Right now, in 2024, we are watching. Will they bounce back or still close more of their restaurants? 14. Dairy Queen If you are an ice cream fan across the country, you have one less scoop shop to choose from after Dairy Queen shuttered a handful of locations. A Carbondale, Illinois store is gone and a Merritt Island, Florida shop that had been in business for nearly 60 years has been closed. Above that, Dairy Queen permanently closed down its location in Glen Carbon, Illinois. But what is driving this closure? Well, there seems to be a disagreement with the company. A spokesperson of Dairy Queen revealed that the company had been working with the Carbondale owners for some time to address operational issues. But the owners made the decision to shutter the restaurant when it, quote, did not meet necessary requirements. Will they still close more restaurants in 2024? And 15. Hardee's A staple of the American fast food industry since 1960, Hardee's faced bankruptcy in 2023 after closing 39 of their restaurants. The COVID-19 pandemic and rising business costs were major contributors to the decline of this once seemingly invincible fast food chain. The Summit Restaurant Holdings once ran 145 locations throughout the South, Midwest, and West, but its unit count was down to 108 restaurants as of May 2023. So, what do you think will be the fate of Hardee's? The restaurant industry continues to grapple with the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic, with closures, financial difficulties, and lawsuits impacting even the most iconic establishments. With many once-thriving giants of the American restaurant world going down, the future remains uncertain. 2024 might see some of them go into extinction. We look forward to reading your thoughts on this subject and thank you very much for watching.